Welcome to the Cafe 80s. Yes, we have that right here in Las Vegas. I'm here with my best friends, the Tuckers from California. They decided to come here and bring me with them. We're gonna take you on a little tour of this place and you are not gonna wanna miss it when you come to Las Vegas. Get ready, my folks, because this adventure starts right now. Welcome to the Cafe 80s, where it's always morning in America even in the afternoon. In today's adventure, we find ourselves just across from UNLV in a little strip mall near Maryland Parkway and Tropicana. And anybody who grew up in the 80s or has a kid who did will instantly recognize this replica from Ghostbusters. Not Ecto-1, but Ecto just arrived fresh from California. All right, folks, let's go check out the Back to the 80s Cafe. Wait a minute now. Is that actually George McFly behind the counter? Why, yes. Yes, it is. Step inside, look around, and you feel like you fell into a movie set or how about a time machine? The counter and kitchen are right in front of you, but we'll get to the food in a minute. Let's just absorb all this 1980s memorabilia that covers every square inch in here from floor to ceiling. it all come from you ask well the back to the 80s idea was the brainchild of native california christopher neck he grew up in the 80s and happened to have a grandfather who owned an antique mall in iowa grandpa 80s memorabilia became the cornerstone of a store that chris opened in 2014 in sacramento part museum part retail store Fast forward to 2021, and Chris has moved the operation to Las Vegas. In fact, Back to the 80s Cafe opened exactly one year ago in July 2021. Around the corner, the bar area has a whole different feel. The lighting is dark. The checkerboard floor and red vinyl bar stools are totally vintage, and there's even an old-fashioned photo booth. The wall is decorated with larger-than-life pop art portraits of 80s music icons. And on Fridays, they have karaoke, trivia, prizes, and half-priced drinks for the ladies. The 80s is widely considered to be the golden era for horror movie franchises and the endless sequels that spawn from them. Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween, Poltergeist, Hellraiser, and they get their own section at the Back to the 80s Cafe. Now, 
What does this gizmo do, you wonder? Watch and learn. What gonna do? What this is, is the do? dollar. Okay. We're going to see what happens when we put the dollar in right. to the monsters. All right, let's get to the food. Owner Chris spent 11 years as a baker for the Cheesecake Factory and opened 24 locations nationwide, so he knows a little bit about food. The menu is so crammed with photos of 80s pop culture that you want to just take it home. Movies, TV classics, music, it's a time capsule all in itself. The kitchen serves up gourmet burgers and sandwiches, salads and appetizers, all with the kitschy names that are a throwback to the decade we're celebrating in here. Jeff and I ordered the awesome grilled chicken sandwich and Rachel got the Doc Brown burger. And let me tell you something, folks, it was 1.21 gigawatts worth of deliciousness. Let's take a look at a couple more nuggets in here before we have to go back to the real world. Not only do we have slashers hanging around the lockers, we've got supernatural icons like E.T., Yoda, Gremlins, and the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. The timing of all this is perfect. Nostalgia for the 1980s and 90s is huge right now. And for me, I really like that they've incorporated vintage 80s album covers into the mix. Plus, you just gotta check out this ladies' room door. Maybe you noticed the vintage ice cream case in the bar area earlier. What do you got, Rachel? I have Thrifty's ice cream scooped with their famous square scooped, double scoops of the chocolate malted crunch, which is their best ice cream. Now, you got the hamburger, how was it? It was, seriously, it was like gourmet quality like at a restaurant. It this, was be better than the one I had at a restaurant. So the food was, is amazing here, isn't it? food is amazing, recommend. And this is Jeff over here. Oh, hi. We're, We're filming each other. other. We're filming each other filming. Yeah, <laughs> all this boom cam. <laughs> that was two small bites, I have to do it myself. I can't do it with one hand, sorry. See, that's a bite. Yes. That was fun. What do you think? <laughs> I go out of town and look at all the fun Dale has in my absence. I would have loved to go there. Hey, Jeff and Rachel come to town and we go crazy. You don't know this, but uh, she actually did a live stream. No. Yeah, she did. She did a live stream. In I mean, the she cafe? walked in the cafe. She walked around the whole place and did a live stream. It was just amazing. We just had a wonderful time. We stayed there for quite a while, actually. <laughs> but, and obviously, they must be very camera friendly in there, huh? Oh yeah, extremely. Yeah, <laughs> they, they want the publicity. I think they want to draw people into the place, right? We are happy to give it. They are in such a great location, and that little strip mall right in the heart of UNLV, right by the college, perfect spot, and honestly, not very far. From the strip it's right off tropicana if you're a tourist and want to go for lunch or dinner or karaoke yeah, tropicana to maryland parkway and you're right there it's actually right there so if you're not subscribed please subscribe don't forget to hit that notification button anything else you want to tell these people paula hey thanks for taking the nostalgic trip to the 80s with us this week we will see you next sunday hope you had a good time we'll see you next time bye bye, bye everyone. everybody <laughs>